All right, let's get this crystal skull. All right. Wait, what? Oh no, the grave is closing. Nancy, that you in there? Goodness sakes, gal, what on earth have you gone and done? The lid's closing and I don't know how to stop it. Here, I'll pull you up. Toss what you're holding up here, then give me your hands. Come on, you best hurry. Here it comes. Okay. Renee, I don't like help, that look please? on her face. The crystal skull. After all that scheming, how do I finally get it? Why, this nice little Yankee girl just hands it to me. Renee, help me. Hurry, please. Thank you, Nancy. Bye now. No, you've got to help me. Renee! Renee! That... Oh! There's a couple of things I want to call her right now, but this is a G-rated uh, video, so... Okay, what's this? Oh, this is a matching game. See? What you do is you match the pictures that look the same. Okay, acorn with acorn. Letter U with letter U. It's not exactly with the letter U, but it's close enough. Okay, infinity sign. Oh, here. Infinity sign with infinity sign. Let's hurry up. Gotta get out of here and catch her name. Ooh, I can't believe she locked us up here to die. Hmm. Well, Nancy's gotten out of tough situations before. I'm sure she'll get out of them again. Okay, this is good. That and that. No. No. That, 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 that. That, that? Yes. Ooh, I'm getting close. And, and that's it. Okay, we're out of the death trap. We get some cool animation. Now let's head after Renee. Muddy footprints, eh? She left a trail, like all thieves do. Hear that? Sounds like a, a motorboat in the distance. Renee, hold it right there. That skull isn't yours. To say nothing of the fact that you just tried to bury me alive. The skull is mine. It wants to be mine. Yes, I did my share of scheming to get it. I got Dr. Volet to go to the authenticators, then switched the letter they wrote saying it was real with one I wrote saying it was fake, in hopes that Dr. Volet would just hand it over to me. Yes, my plan failed, and yet, here we are. I have the skull. Why? Because it knows that I will fulfill its destiny. Bruno Bollet wanted Henry to have it. That's why he had Gilbert Buford steal that painting and hide it in Henry's parents' crypt. Because he hoped that way Henry would eventually find it. Henry is a fool. If he ever got his hands on this, he would just turn around and give it to that trashy girlfriend of his. Dr. Bollet. Hey, just Summer isn't trashy. Lion. Gilbert Buford, too. Hey, it's and Bernie. And that fella <laughs> who just wants to sell it to the highest bidder. Let's step on the log. My motives are pure. I am going to protect it so it can rendezvous with all those other skulls. I'm going to be right there when they start conversing and all the mysteries of the universe are forever solved. There goes the crystal skull. No, 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 come back! <laughs> nice Renee burst try. into tears and sobbed as Bernie swam away with a crystal skull. It made me feel sorry for her for about two seconds. After all, while she may not have meant to cause Bruno's death, she certainly meant to cause mine when she left me sealed up in that crypt. It felt good to turn her over to the police. <laughs> Later that night, Dr. Buford came over and apologized for knocking me out with that smoke bomb and for allowing himself to think, even for a moment, that Bruno's crystal skull was anything more than a pretty piece of quartz. To make up for his shameful behavior, he insisted on taking Bess and me on a grand tour of New Orleans. Yay! The eyes of someone who loves it as much as Dr. Buford was truly special. 
He invited Henry too, but Henry declined. He was still trying to process the fact that his great uncle wanted him to have the skull. Henry always thought that to Bruno, he was nothing more than an annoying family obligation, someone Bruno couldn't care less about. Yet Bruno's request of Dr. Buford, made with his dying breath, proved that he did care about Henry. Apparently, Aww. and unfortunately for Henry, Bruno was the type of man who just couldn't bring himself to say such things out loud. As for Lamont, when he heard what happened, he closed his shop, bought enough marshmallows to fill a swamp boat, and has been scouring the bayous ever since, kicking every log he comes to in hopes of finding Bernie and the crystal skull inside him. But Bernie has yet to turn up. Maybe the skull didn't agree with him. Maybe swallowing it caused him to stop associating the sound of a kicked log with yummy sweet things. In any case, the whisperer has disappeared. Lost to the world once again, which is totally fine by me. Okay. Um, which did she have in her room? Hiccuping? Okay, let's see the awards I got. I got an award for figuring out the truth behind uh, Bruno's letter, for eating lots of Coco Kringle, Coco Kringle bars, beating those pesky wasps, solving the uh, marble puzzle in record time, and answering the trivia question correctly. All right. Sorry, that's my dog in the background. Now let's check out the Talk credits. About a detective's dream come true. The Italian police called me personally and requested that I travel to Italy and help them stake out a suspected thief in Venice. This is a preview for the next game. Make Thief sure to buy a copy today, or pre-order your copy today. A simple assignment in a city filled with canals, gondolas, and romance quickly morphed into a full-fledged undercover operation. And I soon found myself Ooh. trapped in a maze of lies, disguises, and danger. Help me find my way out by joining me in my next adventure. Phantom of Venice. Ooh. Well, I'll make sure to get that game when it comes out. And you should too. I'm sure it will be awesome. Anyway, that's the end of the game. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in, folks. You should probably go out and buy a copy of this game yourselves. It's it's very excellent. I would highly recommend it. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.